so I've been um listening to your complaints and what you um problems you have with this sort of videos that I make the game in the street talk and so I've decided I'll play some music instead to make this more entertaining for you keep you interested in so just hold on a sec all right so I've got um another development in loot boxes that I want to talk about recently as you may have known or not known um EA has has stated that they're against loot boxes and I want to apply for their rights um, so they're getting investigated currently by Belgium Commission as well as about 15 other different places which I'm really glad they are uh, um looking into fucking uh, looking into um Blue boxes, 15 different countries, uh, gaming, and and um, I'm just not sure if that's true or not because you know, it always varies from different places. Only 1516. So I'm, I'm sorry, this is too loud. I know it's not really. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm actually really annoyed at this because after recently there was a shooting that happened at a NBA 2K19 tournament. I think it was. I, I, Forgive me if I'm incorrect there, but um, instead of talking about this or or anything like that, I know it's not the EA, EA's FIFA game that it occurred at, but the fact that it's a sports game, that there was a shooting, that they're not addressing that and talking about that, that they're more concerned about making loot boxes more legal, it really just shows what they actually care about and don't care about. They don't give a fuck about us, they just care about making money, and that just makes me sick. So, to swap to better news recently as well, Sony has um, gone to, decided that cross-platform play with um, Fortnite is okay. Sadly, it's only Fortnite for now, but, um, you know, not like Minecraft or anything else. They said that it will be coming out in a beta, so I guess that's pretty good. I guess. But, I want to say... Fuck yeah, that seems good, but it's kind of more just like, finally, finally they're doing, finally they're catching up to their competitors. Talking of which, fucking Nintendo needs to do that with the taking away cloud saves in a mafia style fucking format. It's fucking weird, and it's just an infuriating because now the paid online subscriptions are here. God bless. Um, so that's great. Nintendo, one of the things that I always praise them for is having free online something that I should have. It sets an unhealthy precedent though for other console and platform holders that um it's okay to have um paid online subscriptions that everyone's gonna be doing it. Everyone's alright with it, they gotta pay for it. The only way to get what they want. So um really sucks because now PC is the only one that has it. And I'm gonna say that the PC is looking to be the best console right now because you don't have to pay to play online. However, I feel like this may just set a tone for other consoles and platforms such as the PC going forward. But maybe, you know, they might start asking for money too. So, um, yeah, a bit worried there. Tell me, like I said, with a giveaway as well, there's going to be a game giveaway. Um, when I reach 50 subs, all you have to do is be a subscriber and comment on any of my videos, um, saying something that actually make, manages to make me laugh and you're in the running to, um, to get Suicide Guy for free. It's a fun little game on Steam, um, puzzle platformer, like I said. Um, I've done a couple of videos on it and it's, um, it's, uh, DLC, so if you want to check those out, see what it's like, um, I'll leave a link to that in the description, one of them, whichever one. I'll, I'll hit you up further, um, if, if you manage to make me laugh, I'll hit you up, um, and see how we can organize giving you the, the Steam code. Pretty keen to see what comments you guys come up with. I saved them bundles. I'm the fool. Fed up with his world. I worry about that. 